Well, uh, good morning, everybody. Just want to do another episode of Rambling in Real Estate. Uh, my name is Braden Dennis with Great American Title, and today I've got Robin Victor and Louisa Ward with my AZ Real Estate team, and uh, they're with Remax Excalibur. And I just brought them on today because I've had the opportunity to work with them for the last couple of years, and uh, they've done some amazing stuff in their communities, uh, their networking groups. Um, and just kind of their culture around their office as well with their uh, individual team. So just kind of wanted to bring them on and kind of talk about uh, the successes they've been having with their team and kind of the different things that they've been doing with their communities and uh, their different networking groups. So uh, Robin, why don't we kind of kick it off? I've uh, had the opportunity to join your networking group actually a couple years ago, our, our BNI group, and it's uh, been an awesome organization. I've been uh, uh, happy to be a part of your or our group, I guess now, and. Uh, Thank you for allowing me to be a part of that and just kind of wanted to turn it over to you and kind of see kind of, I know you've been involved with it for a long time now and kind of want to talk about your history in BNI and kind of the successes you've been having with that. Well, Braden, first of all, I want to thank you very much for being a part of our lives and our team. And we really appreciate you and all the things that you do for us. And we really f appreciate your escrow officers uh, who are absolutely awesome. So we want to thank you for that to start with. Thank, thank, you, for thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and as far as our networking group, BNI, um, it is a networking group. It's the largest networking group in the world, which is somewhat impressive. And there are many chapters throughout the world and certainly throughout Phoenix. I think our chapter is the best. It has some very awesome people in it. It's got a bunch of people that are super invested in their businesses and invested in being excellent at what it is that they do, so whatever trade it is. So I have the opportunity to be exposed to people that are awesome in their field for myself personally, for my friends, for my family, and for my clients. If somebody needs a financial advisor, which you wouldn't maybe go to a realtor for, I know one that's great. If somebody needs a plumber, or if somebody needs somebody to install flooring, if somebody needs somebody to do a, a lot of different trades, I have people that I know that I see every single week and I know that are gonna be awesome and treat my clients very well. Will they ever make a mistake? Maybe anybody can make a mistake, but I'll tell you, the way these people rectify any errors that they make is awesome, and they always make them look great with my clients, so I really appreciate them. Yeah, and I always encourage agents to kind of get involved with these networking groups because it is a great opportunity to kind of have multiple people be thinking about you on a weekly, monthly uh, basis, um, but also it allows you to kind of have the opportunity to refer out to all of the other individuals in your group as well, mm -hmm. so not just you getting business, but the ability to kind of refer out the business mm -hmm. as well, and I know you've been the top referrer in BNI a couple years now. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of what does that do for you differently versus um, not having those referral partners? So now you just kind of have the availability. At Louisa, do you want to jump in? Well, I just wanted to say we haven't done our numbers for 2018, but Robin can give you um, a little bit of information about the percentage of business that we took in that came from BNI. Now it is giver's gain, so it's really about giving to the other people in the group, giving them referrals, but giver's gain. We, could, we definitely get a lot of business back. So tell them about our 2016 numbers. Well, 2017, 2017, 2017 stats. Right. Uh, we received to our business 43% of our business through people that we met in BNI and referrals that we received from BNI. That's huge. That's that huge. is huge. It was huge to our business. But we've also given a lot to the people in the chapter because they're excellent at what they do. It's yep. not because they're in my chapter and I know them and I have breakfast with them. It's because they're absolutely excellent at what they do. And when they take care of my clients and they get my clients or friends or family get top-notch top service. That's what it's all about. Yep. So, and I've been involved in BNI for 10 years, and that's a, a substantial period of time. It's made a substantial mark on my life, and as I say, personally, everything in my house and my financial plan, my taxes, everything that I do is greatly enhanced by it, and I've had the opportunity to help Louisa and her family and clients and, and lots of people because of the relationships that we have with this group. Yep, right. Yeah, and uh, Louisa, I know you've been heavily involved with your block watch. I had the opportunity to kind of participate with you this last, or two months ago, I think it was, for you guys' block watch party, um, which was actually very impressive. I, I, I wasn't, know, I threw I an impressive party, I? wasn't I? really <laughs> sure what I was getting into. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, neighborhood party, this is going to be great. And there was, I don't know, a couple hundred, maybe even a thousand people out there. Yeah, there was about 700. 700 people out there and vendor booths all over the place. Uh -huh. So kind of want to elaborate on that a little bit and how your involvement with the, the block watch has kind of... Well, uh, in my particular neighborhood, when it, and I can't say that this is across the valley, but 
uh, when the market went down, a lot of the block watches kind of went by the wayside. I mean, you just couldn't get anybody to participate. It was very, everybody was kind of depressed. Um, but when the market started coming up, it was like, yeah, I think we should start up our block watch. So I talked to the block watch leader and she said, uh, yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. And then next morning, all the block watch boxes of stuff were on my front porch. <laughs> they just showed up. So I guess I became the leader. But I actually love it. I love reaching out to my neighbors. I love being able to um, teach them about safety and be able to say, hey, there's a suspicious person in the neighborhood, and I do this instant email blast. And I think everybody appreciates that. And we're also doing a 30-second street revitalization. So the main street in our neighborhood is being revitalized with restaurants and things. So I'm all up on that and, and really kind of heading, spearheading that drive. Um, but so one of the things that I do is I applied for a grant and the grant was to support a community party to where the neighbors get together and they can all get to know each other a little bit better because when you know your neighbor, you're going to watch out for your neighbor and that's what it's about. So we just had a measly 700 people party, you know, (laughs) um, but yeah, we went to all the businesses and got sponsors. So Costco brought pizza and Subway brought, brought subs and and we had hot dogs, and, and it, we had face painters, and yeah. bounce the houses, staff and was games. Out there and, and, and then we had about, I don't know, 50 raffle prizes that businesses donated. It was just absolutely fabulous. And um, so that's all great. That, again, it's kind of like the giver's gain. So I'm giving to my community. I'm, I'm, I'm spearheading all of this and Blockwatch meetings and bringing in great guest speakers to our Blockwatch meetings. And in turn, people are getting to know me as... Um, as a real estate agent also, where before I couldn't even probably get to, into their front door, but now they're inviting me over and, yeah. and uh, sort of making a name for myself. So it's a giver's game. Same idea. Yeah. It's yeah. Going well. I, I think I just wanted to have you guys on because I think you guys have done an amazing job with kind of growing in your community and, and growing and leading your networking groups. Um, and, and episodes past, I've had people kind of on here talking about lead generation, online lead generation and stuff, but really – the most important stuff and really kind of when you get back to the baseline of where real estate agents are getting their business it is it is our community it is our our um, our database and our referral networks ultimately. I really think that one of the things that's fallen away by the wayside because of modern technology is face to face and okay. so that's what when you go to the BNI group you're face to face with other people mm-hmm. in the group and of course doing that givers gain and in my community I'm face to face with all of these people. I'm hand delivering flyers to every person about the party. Yep. Well, Robin and I, we're putting some miles on our shoes there. <laughs> um, but it's a face to face and people have lost out on that. And so we we do almost no networking. I yep. mean, not networking, um, internet marketing. Yep. Um, where it's really about getting to know people. Well, and you guys say that, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about your guys' team today. And, you know, you do have Erica now as your marketer, and you've got Mindy as your t- transaction coordinator, and you just brought on B now as your buyer's agent. Mm-hmm. Um, and I do have a lot of teams that are kind of looking to get to that next level. Um, what kind of made you guys make that decision to make that transition to kind of add another person onto your team? I'd like to jump in on that one. Yeah. Um, Louisa and I have been business partners for 22 years. Uh, which is a bit of a long time in the real estate world for people that are not married to each other. You know, we're separate individual people, and our partnership has worked very well. But it was not long ago that we realized that we couldn't show any more houses or list any more houses than we were doing unless we grew our team. There's a limit to this 24 hours in a day. There's only so much that you can do. There's only so much time. And growing our team was the best way to be able to grow. And we happen to be lucky um, as far as the... Uh, tran- the transaction coordinator that we have and the assistant that we have yep. are absolutely excellent people for their positions. They're just, I can't say enough good things about them. Love them. Yeah. Love yeah. them. Yeah. They awesome. know what Shout they're doing. Shout out to Erica and Mindy. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They know their jobs. They're very kind and compassionate people, and they, they take care of our clients the way we would like to take care of our clients. So they're, they are truly an extension of us. And I think B is going to be the same thing. She's been with us for a short period of time, but she's an absolutely awesome person. And I think that she's smart, she's quick, she learns, she understands, but she has a lot of compassion for people. Buying or selling a house requires the people on your team to care about what your goals are. Everybody has to care about that person and help them to achieve their goals. And sometimes it's difficult. Some people have some pretty high needs and high expectations. But 
having everybody on the team care about them and move the, the project forward is very important. And so adding to the team was something that we knew that we had to do. And don't forget about Chuck. Oh, yep, sorry. Yeah. Oh, he, yes. I can't believe I left Chuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. He's out because he had a uh, quintuple heart. heart bypass. But, uh, but yeah, he's, a, he's a, yep. a, a good member of our team as well. Thinks the same way. Again, it's kind of one of our mottos, or mine at least, is um, you just do the right thing and the money will come. So the right thing sometimes is that you don't sell that person a house. And it's frustrating because you did a lot of work, but you did such a good job and it just wasn't right for that person at that time. And that person will send you business and they'll come back to you when the time is right and it will all work out. Just do the right thing and the money will come. Yeah. Um, well, thank you ladies for coming on. Uh, another episode of Rambling in Real Estate. Do you want to add anything last before we kind of end this episode? Um, I'd like to say I'm a little bit nervous because Braden is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> he is so cute. Oh my gosh. We can cut that out. <laughs> uh, well, thanks you guys. Thank you ladies uh, for joining me again this morning and uh, another episode on Rambling in Real Estate. Thanks guys. Thank you.